A picnic by the river. This is a good spot. Let's stop and have our picnic next to the river. Good idea. Walking always makes me hungry. I'm ready for lunch. We can sit here on the grass. Oh no, someone forgot to throw these empty paper bags away. There is litter everywhere. Why do people always leave litter around? It's not a nice thing to do. It spoils other people's picnics. I think they are lazy. Or maybe they just don't care. Look, there are some empty cans and glass bottles under that tree, too. People should clean up before they leave and not leave litter lying around. That's right. Well, after our picnic, let's pick up all the litter we can and take it out of here. Okay. And next week, let's come back with friends and pick up some more. Good idea. Let's recycle. Hi, Jane. Have you heard about the new laws to help people recycle? I heard about them on the news last night. I don't think I like them. The government wants to keep the environment clean by recycling paper, metal, and glass instead of throwing these things away. But who wants to pay an extra 50 cents each time you buy a cup of coffee? That's a lot of money. 50 cents. It's only 5 cents extra for a paper cup. I thought it was 50 cents. No. It's only 5 cents. Don't worry. And you can get your money back when you return the cup. That's fair. Well, maybe the government is right after all. I'll return all the paper coffee cups I use from now on. Good. We all need to recycle. It helps to keep the environment clean. Growing roses. Excuse me, ma'am. I have a problem with my rose bush. It used to produce a lot of pink roses, but now it doesn't produce any flowers at all. I see. That does seem like a problem. Do the leaves on the plant look healthy? Not really. The leaves used to be very green. Now, most of them have turned brown. Well, I think your rose bush needs some fertilizer. Okay. What sort of fertilizer do you think I shall do? This liquid fertilizer is very good. It will help make your rose leaves green again. Then the plant should produce roses quite soon. The fertilizer costs about $10. How long will it take for my rose bush to recover? About two weeks, I think. Great, I'll take it. Thank you so much for your help. You're welcome. Cell phone messages. I need to check my messages. How are you going to do that? We're in the middle of the freeway. I'm going to use my cell phone. Haven't you ever done that? No. I just use my cell phone to talk to other people. Now you can also use a cell phone to send and receive short text messages. It's very useful. How do you send a message that way? I just use the keys on the phone to type a short message. Then I press the send button. It's cheaper than making a phone call. That's a great idea. You can save both time and money that way. Right. All my friends usually send me text messages now. Thanks for telling me about this. I'll have to try it. You're welcome. I think you'll find it useful. Women's Day. Since March 8th, 1990, Women's Day has been observed by SARC South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation, comprising seven countries, namely India, Pakistan, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and Maldives. The day is celebrated to highlight the problems of the girl child in these countries. It is very sad that girl children are subjected to extreme neglect and disrespect. Especially in underdeveloped countries, the birth of a girl child is seen by parents as a cause of pity. They are deprived of proper nutrition, education, 
economic opportunities and social status or respect. We must eliminate these prejudices and provide a bright future for girls by educating them. The importance of breakfast. You probably already know that it is important to have a king-size breakfast every morning. Do you know why your body is hungry in the morning because you haven't eaten for about 8 to 10 hours? Breakfast is therefore the first meal of the day. And therefore, the most important, imagine driving without fuel. This is exactly how your body feels without fuel from a nutritious breakfast. Nowadays, many people skip breakfast to lose weight. Nutritionists are alarmed by this trend, as it is mandatory to eat breakfast within two hours of waking up. Depriving the body of energy can lead to serious health problems in the long run. Forget silly celebrities and their absurd ways to lose weight. Never miss breakfast. About English, English is a truly global language. It is the most widely spoken language in the world, with over 1.5 billion speakers. It is the official language of many countries, including the United Kingdom, the United States, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. English is also one of the official languages of the European Union and the United Nations. There are many reasons why English is so important. It is the language of international communication, business, science, and technology. It is also the language of popular culture, with many movies, TV shows, and songs being in English. Learning English can open up opportunities all over the world. Although it can be challenging at times, learning English can be incredibly rewarding. Not only will you be able to communicate with a wider range of people, but you'll also gain a better understanding of different cultures. With so many resources available, there's no excuse not to give it a try. So why not start today in conclusion? English is an important language to learn for a variety of reasons. First and foremost, it is the most widely spoken language in the world. Additionally, English is the official language of many countries and is often required for business or academic purposes. Finally, learning English can be incredibly rewarding and enriching experience. Importance of Yoga Essay Benefits of Yoga Meditation In this Yoga Benefits Essay, we delve deeper into its transformative effects. Yoga is a discipline that can be extremely beneficial to your health in a number of ways. It can help to improve your flexibility, increase your strength and endurance, and promote better circulation. In addition, yoga can also help to reduce stress levels and promote feelings of well-being. If you are looking for a way to improve your overall health and well-being, then yoga may be the perfect option for you. Yoga is not only an excellent way to exercise the body, but it also has numerous benefits for the mind and spirit. If you have never tried yoga before, I highly recommend giving it a try. You might be surprised at how much you enjoy it and how quickly you start to see results. Yoga is an ancient practice with many benefits for both the body and mind. It can help to improve flexibility, strength, and balance while also promoting relaxation and stress relief. Whether you are new to yoga or have been practicing for years, there is always something to gain from including yoga in your life. So why not give it a try? You might just be surprised at how much it can help you in both body and mind. Yoga has so many benefits for both the body and mind. And it is an activity that everyone can do regardless of their fitness level. If you haven't already started practicing yoga, I hope this article has inspired you to give it a try. Remember to start slow and listen to your body. And soon you will be reaping all the wonderful benefits that yoga has to offer. The importance of yoga cannot be understated. Yoga has been shown to improve mental and physical health in a variety of ways, making it an excellent addition to any wellness routine. If you're looking for a way to improve your overall health and well-being, 
Give yoga a try. You just might be surprised at the results. Blood donation, a social duty. The value of blood as a life-saving component cannot be overstated. People with diseases like leukemia and chronic anemia need regular blood transfusions to survive. Also, those who have lost a lot of blood due to bleeding from wounds and injuries from accidents and other acts of violence need blood to replenish the lost blood. All these urgent needs require a stock of blood in the blood banks of government hospitals from where people who need blood can get it immediately at a critical moment. Doctors assure us that the amount of donated blood is replenished soon and the donation does not have any harmful effect on the donor's physical condition. One only has to remember that such a blood donation which has no harmful effect on the blood donor himself can save a precious life while hanging precariously in need of the precious fluid. Blood donation camps are organized by social organizations, political parties, and other charitable organizations. If such organizations are genuinely interested in meeting a valuable social need, every right-thinking citizen should come forward and donate his blood, remembering that his blood could save a life. The Rich Uncle Alvin wants a new laptop. His parents are poor, though. His mom recently lost her job. His dad recently quit his job. Alvin knows that he can't ask his parents for a laptop. He decides to ask his rich uncle Todd. He drives over to Todd's house. Todd's house is beautiful. It has three stories. There is a chandelier on the ceiling. There are expensive paintings all over the place. There are five bedrooms and four bathrooms. Alvin wishes he could live there. Todd offers him something to eat. Alvin says, no. Thanks, I already ate. Todd asks him why he is coming. Alvin does not know what to say. He does not want to come off as rude. My laptop is really old, and I need a laptop for school. I would ask my parents, but they don't have jobs anymore, Alvin says. I understand, Todd says. Todd takes out $800 from his wallet and gives it to Alvin. Alvin jumps up and down. He has never felt so happy in his entire life. His mom asks Alvin why he is so happy. Alvin does not say anything. He doesn't want to make his mom feel bad. Technical education, training in a specific branch of applied science, such as engineering, agriculture, weaving, spinning, etc., is considered technical education. It contrasts with liberal education, which aims to impart general knowledge of arts and sciences. In the modern era, technical education is extremely important today. A country's prosperity is determined by its industrial development. The more advanced the country is in industry, the more prosperous the country is. Technical knowledge is now the backbone of industrial progress, which holds the key to national prosperity. The need for technical education in India is high. The central government has made major efforts to build heavy industry since independence. People trained in technical education are required to run various industrial units. Technical education offers a student good prospects. Today, engineering graduates are more likely to find jobs than science or arts graduates. Cigarette smoking is injurious to health. Tobacco was discovered in America for the first time. Its widespread cultivation with the assistance of Negro slaves made it one of the most important export items in the American economy. Tobacco was also grown in other parts of the world, including Burma and Cuba. Cigarettes made of tobacco rolled in tissue paper aided in the spread of a very harmful habit among the West's so-called advanced countries. It then spread to various other countries around the world. Attractive packaging and expert advertising aided in spreading the addiction to smoking cigarettes, even among the poorest segments of the population. However, it has recently been discovered that smoking causes a variety of serious physical ailments that include from coughing, sore throat, laryngitis, and asthma to the fatal disease cancer. Furthermore, 
Even people who are unintentionally exposed to cigarette smoke while in the company of a smoker can develop any of these diseases. This demonstrates how hazardous the habit of smoking cigarettes is. It has been discovered that quitting smoking can cure a variety of diseases. As a result, we should all avoid the bad habit of smoking cigarettes.